Um, so yeah, um, if you have any questions, anything like that, just please um, feel free to put it in chat, feel free to unmute and let me know. Uh, yeah, so really happy to invite all of you to this. Uh, first of all, I just want to do a quick introduction. Yes, um, Sawyer, I believe if you can send the link into our chat. Uh, thank you. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so I just want to do a quick introduction on our eboard. Uh, that's that's our sitting eboard right now. Um, and so I myself, I'm the president. Uh, I'm Dylan Lee. I'm GS, graduating 22 December probably. And um, I'm studying political science statistics. Um, can I have Joel introduce himself? Uh, hi, I'm Joel. I'm a junior at GS and I'm studying neuroscience. Uh, June. Hi everyone, can you guys all hear me? Great. Hi guys, um, I'm the vice president, uh, co-vice president I should say. Um, I'm graduating hopefully this, uh, this coming spring and I'm currently studying psychology and economics, political science. Good to meet you all. All right, Yao. Hi everyone, my name is Yao and I'm a junior in CC studying um, CS and philosophy. I am the secretary for CU UNICEF and I am also the committee lead for advocacy and education. Perfect. Ling? Hi everyone, I'm a senior in GS and I'm studying financial economics. Hi, um, Yokim. Hey guys, um, I'm Joachim. I'm a sophomore at CC studying econ and math. Um, I'm a treasurer of UNICEF and I'm also helping out with the fundraising. Great, great. Sawyer. Hi everyone, I'm Sawyer. I'm a junior in CC studying religion. Uh, Anya is not here today. Alana is also unable to attend today. Kaylin. Hi, I'm Kaylin. I'm a sophomore at Barnard thinking about studying neuroscience or biology. And I'm the head of the marketing committee. All right. I think, I believe Delina let me know that she was unable to attend as well. Um, and Rebecca, I believe I saw you. Hi, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm Becca. I'm a sophomore at Barnard and I am one of the design leads and I also do public relations. All right, perfect. Um, with that um, uh, introduction out of the way, that is uh, who, who our eboard is currently right now. Um, and if you ever have any questions regarding um, the club, these are the people that you can ask. Um, you can use our unis and just throw that at columbia.edu afterwards and email us. Um, I'm sure I know many of you have already emailed me at cu.unicef at gmail.com. That works as well. Um, emailing personally is, is perfectly fine as well. Um, my emails are always open. So now we're going to go ahead and introduce the idea of committees. Um, as we, um, I'm sure I met many of you during Activities Day, or I'm sure many of you have met someone on our uh, eboard at Activities Day. Um, and I know when y'all were filling out that form, there was that question about committees. So here we are, we have four committees at Columbia UNICEF. Um, and we want to just introduce, do a quick little introduction for each of the four committees we have. Sawyer, take it away. Hi, everyone. Again, I'm Sawyer. I'm the Outreach Committee Chair. Um, like you can see here, we have a variety of tasks. Mainly what we do is finding different speakers and panelists for the conferences and events that we hold. We also communicate with these VIPs regarding like event details through Zoom meetings and a lot of emailing. Um, and we maintain networks with external organizations, which just means that we really get to work a lot with a lot of nonprofits and different organizations, and we keep in contact with them to make sure we still maintain those relationships. Um, so some useful skills are networking, communication, and just being able to follow up and work as a team. All right, fantastic. Um, next, we have marketing. Kaylin? I apologize for the lack of visuals, even though that's like what we're supposed to be doing, but I didn't have time. Um, so marketing committee, basically we're in charge of marketing for the club and kind of communicating with our community and building that community. Um, we are pretty hands-on. We create the social media posts and kind of design. <clears throat> um, and then 
We also maintain all the social media accounts and that'll include like our posting schedule and also any like DMs and stuff for casual inquiries. And while outreach kind of works with external organizations, we work with internal. So it'll be like with other clubs in Columbia and other students mainly. And useful skills are design, social media savvy, although like you don't really have to be because it's like a work in progress. Everything's always changing. So, um, but yeah, this would be a good committee for you if you're kind of interested in getting experience in marketing or like community building. All right. Next we have fundraising. And although uh, I believe Joachim will be introducing that. Yeah, so um, to summarize, like just, just our three main tasks, we're going to be brainstorming fundraising ideas. Um, so last year, for example, we had a, fun, a merge fundraising event and also a bingo fundraising event. So right now we're planning to expand on those. Um, and our second task is like to basically facilitate the execution of these events just to make sure they run smoothly. And then like, I guess lastly, just like tying those two things together so we can, our main goal is to raise money for both Columbia UNICEF and UNICEF USA. Um, so I guess like useful things, um, the main things I would like to say, I say are very useful for this committee is the money management and creativity. Um, also like if you're like, experienced logistics, that's also helpful. But like, if you're honestly just passionate about like, or just, you just wanna learn, I think this committee is really great for you. Yeah, and also just to add a little, when you guys sign in just now, that we ask you um, what you would like to purchase, that's because this semester we have a bit of funding. So we'll try to make more merch. Last semester we only made the sweaters and it's going really well. So we'll probably order more of those. So if you guys saw us during activities fair and the sweater, it, it will be open for orders this semester as well. And along with that, we'll have probably two or three more items. So when you do, you can let us know if you have any ideas for um, UNICEF merch, yeah. All right, and advocacy and education. Hi Yo. everyone. Um... My name is Xiao again, and I am the community lead for um, advocacy and education, as I mentioned. So our main task is to educate um, the general body within the club and also um, the Columbia community as a whole about our um, initiative as a chapter of UNICEF and also UNICEF's and other um, nonprofit organizations initiatives. And we we'll also want to educate everyone on the current events that are relevant to UNICEF's missions. Um, for example, at the end of last semester, my committee and I led to uh, presentations and discussions on the pressing um, issues around about like children around the world. And um, we also have the task of preparing advocacy work for UNICEF's mission. What will be used for, for our committee is the ability of teaching and um, just advocating for what you are passionate about. Um, presentation skills, definitely, and advocacy. I would say if you feel really passionate about certain issues regarding children's rights around the world, definitely come to us. If you have anything, um, just advocacy in general, I think that advocacy and education is a great place for you to be. All right, with that, that's really our four main uh, committees or our four main committees in general. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to the committee chairs or those who presented for their committee um, about any, uh, anything that they do or what they um, have done. I know in the form that you filled out on the way in, as well as has been put in the chat a couple of times now, um, it asks which committee you want to be a part of. Um, that's exactly where you fill it out. If you're not still not sure, just reach out. Um, and we're sure to help out. All right, so now um, the next big question that I was asked during um, activities day was, what really does Columbia UNICEF do? Uh, so let's, let's address that. So we have fundraising. So like our fundraising team mentioned, um, we have merch, uh, we have bingo fundraisers, and um, depending on what happens during this, these next couple of weeks, next couple of months, um, we'll try to do a couple more hopefully in-person fundraisers, um, but there's more to say on that later. Oh, also speaking of which, 
before I continue. The merch um, question on the form has a couple of questions asking like what sort of merch you'd like to see. Um, we're, we're able to create a lot more merch um, this semester. And so ideally um, it's merch that you guys want or other um, Columbia affiliates want. So please feel free to fill out and kind of give our, your opinion on it. We'll, we'll try to do our best to um, encompass as many as possible. So another big thing is, of course, advocacy like the educa uh, Advocacy and Education Committee uh, mentioned. Um, so the big thing that UNICEF is known for is UNICEF Day, uh, UNICEF Advocacy Day, as well as UNICEF Unite Annual Summit. Um, last year didn't happen, obviously, um, due to COVID um, problems. And so they had their online virtual um, advocacy day, but obviously the impact of that doesn't hit as hard um, for, for those at home, as well as those um, just in attendance. So hopefully we, we, we see what they have plan on doing. Right now, as it stands, there's no new information uh, regarding that. So we can't be sure what's gonna happen. Let's, we, we hope for in-person. If it's online, then we hope that you can also um, uh, participate. Regarding the question in chat, does the merch generate a profit that is then donated to NGOs, et cetera, need of assistance? Absolutely. Um, we have some, we use most of the cost, oh, most of the pricing is to cover the cost of the item, and then the rest goes to um, uh, nonprofits slash uh, NGOs um, that we've we found and that we uh, partner with. Uh, obviously, big ones are like UNICEF. We have um, partnered with children's hospitals in the past, et cetera. So advocacy, that's another thing we do. Um, we wanna start doing volunteer work with different uh, organizations. So as it stands, this past, uh, this past semester and a half, this past year obviously has been very rough to do things in person. Um, a lot of volunteering opportunities were difficult to take part in as a result of um, COVID-19. So we're trying to our best to find different of uh, uh, possibilities that um, that, that we can be a part of, that we can contribute to um, as a virtual um, platform. So from what I understand, we, there are things like uh, Be My Eyes, which is an online platform. I believe one of our members brought it up to us last year. Um, I don't know if Bere is here right now, um, but if she's not, basically the idea of Be My Eyes is it's an online app where you kind of match up with somebody who has some sort of uh, visual disability, visual impairment, and um, you quite literally be their eyes. They'll have a camera and it kind of, kind of walk around and help them out if they need to find um, something in their kitchen, something of that nature, you can be their eyes. Um, so we might hold an event where we just have like an hour or two where we all just hop on the app and help some people out. Um, that's just a little thing we can give back to the community with. Other things we can do, um, we can always, we're trying to work with UNICEF and UNICEF USA to provide opportunities um, for our students to participate. I will say that right now, Columbia is limiting us to three club members um, per event, which is like really difficult to really manage. Um, we'll try and see what we can do about that. Um, right now, also in-person events, um, indoors is limited to 25, outdoors limited to 50. And with some recent developments that came out literally this morning, um, it seems that starting today at 7 p.m., we'll have some new guidelines as well. So before we move on, um, another thing that we've done in the past and we hope that we can continue doing is the conference. This picture is actually from the Harvard uh, conference that we uh, several of our members attended at some point, um, right before COVID actually. Um, th this day is, our upcoming um, date for the conference this year. We'll see how it coincides with UNICEF Advocacy Day. Um, we picked this date specifically because it's um, right after midterms, right before finals. Um, hopefully that's a good time for us. We'll see if we can adapt as necessary. Um, in, person or out, uh, in person or outdoors is still up in the air or even virtual at this point. Um, so we'll, we stand to see as, as COVID guidelines change. Are, we're still searching for speakers. So if you're interested in children's health, if you know people involved in children's health, this can be in a lot of different avenues, a lot of different ways. Um, feel free to reach out to us. Let us know like, hey, we, I'd love to be a part of outreach and um, give you guys like a list of speakers that I have that would be willing to speak or be a panelist uh, at your conference. So that's just something that we're looking at right now too. And like I mentioned, externals, working in different organizations, working with different organizations, um, working outside of the Columbia sphere. 
is really difficult right now with COVID guidelines. Um, we don't want to violate Columbia's um, compact. So right now, as it stands, administrative and team gatherings are at a pass limit of 250 indoors, 500 outdoors. But we per we don't currently qualify as administrative and team gathering. I've already checked. Um, so or the extracurricular gathering, which, as I mentioned, has a 25 indoor, 50 outdoor limit. Kind of tough, kind of tough. Um, hopefully we can do something like that in, in the near future. Um, we're looking at possibilities of picnics and things like that, uh, just to kind of get a little bonding going and then we can do like some sort of fundraiser or something together. Um, our activities and gatherings are technically qualified on the different things. So we may not even be able to do like all of us do a, an activity together. We, we can only gather, uh, which is obviously very confusing. Um, also, just as I mentioned, we got an update from CCNC's housing departments at 7 p.m. today. Um, we are encouraged to move everything uh, online um, or outdoors for the next two weeks. Um, in addition, I believe there's a lot of housing restrictions. So those of you in undergraduate housing, um, please do check that out. And I apologize for being the bearer of bad news. Um, I think you may have received this already. So we're really a lot of what we're able to do is very limited to by, by the COVID guidelines. I will say though, we do have the flexibility of, we can have three people, three, three individuals affiliated with our club attend any event in, within the country. So domestic travel is allowed. Um, the rest, if we, if we want to attend, we'll have to go unaffiliated. So it's, it's just how we're gonna have to do it um, coming up and in the future. Uh, but we'd love to try and get things going. We'll see how the spring semester looks. Fall semester as it stands is basically uh, that strict of a limitation. Um, so now we've talked about all of that. Let's see if you're interested in executive board. If you're in interested in joining eBoard, um, we will be selecting the upcoming, upcoming president and vice president at the end of this December. Um, it's just based off of uh, experience slash what sort of work you've done um, and sort of commitment to the role. And then from there, the rest of the e-board will be selected by those um, vice presidents and presidents um, at the end of April for, so that we'll have a full board by the end of April and so we can fully transition then. Um, and this, this kind of schema is so that we can help like um, show like all the files, everything like that's necessary, all the information that's necessary for these roles um, so that you can transition smoothly and it's not such a cramp time and you're, you're like um, flailing to figure out what's going on um, as you transition from as you transition from a standard member to eboard or something of that nature. Um, so if you're interested, please do let us know. I believe on the um, on the form, Google form, that's also asked. So just fill out a yes and we'll reach out to you eventually um, about how we can get you involved. Um, speaking of getting involved, uh, we have that form right there, um, the one that we've been sending a lot recently, as well as the QR code for that. And then we also have a Discord server. We just started it. Um, I've been trying to find a way to build some sort of online community, given that COVID may be a long-term thing or something of that nature. I mean, it has been a long-term thing, but it may, may have, you know, we, we're not completely sure what's going on with it. So, um, I'm trying to find ways to build an online community. It seems like Discord is, has been pretty consistently successful at that. Um, we'd love to see you guys and meet you guys there. Uh, I, I'll be trying to host some things on there up in the near future. Otherwise, um, follow us at our... Uh, at our Instagram uh, at cu.unicef, and if you're if you got the email um, sending this link, then you're already on our mailing list. If not, then uh, definitely fill out that form because we're gonna like update our form with that um, with this form as well. So we have our entire mailing list with a bunch of your emails. But other than that, that's really all I had for you. Um, I'm so thankful you all could all attend. If you have any questions now, now is the time. Um, please do feel free to let us know anything you, any sort of concerns you have. Um, feel free to just introduce yourselves. We'd love to kind of get you to know your faces uh, and, and all that because obviously we're all online and it's, it's still nice to just like meet new people. So yeah, um, that's really it. Thank you all for coming, really appreciate it. Questions, concerns, comments, something of that nature, throw it in chat. Oh yeah, follow like comment on our stuff on social media. We'd love to uh, interact with you all. Cool. This is why professors love online classes.
if you guys also like you can just reach out to us individually by email um we put the screenshot in chat so like if you're not comfortable with asking in front of a big group of people always feel, feel free to email us oh actually that's great yeah i'll stop recording so that that intimidation factor is like strong oh, god yes i'm um, sorry could you drop the form again <laughs>